Welcome, everybody. Um, it's Talking Ball. We're just jumping right right into it. Talking Ball slash El Tal Cockerel. Sometimes I forget when he's not here. Uh, but guys, I am joined. This is this is Colin. I'm Colin. I have a different hat on uh, in case you didn't recognize me today. Uh, I'm Colin. Next to me, I've got Chris uh, of Meta Football TV fame. And then below us, we've got, you know what? I don't want you to be on the bottom. I'll put you up at the top. We got Queen Ellie uh, from many channels. You can find Ellie everywhere. And look at that Aaron Lennon kit. Yes. Come on. That is, that's Come class. On. That is class. Yeah. I love I love me some Aaron Lennon. Um, Ellie, how are you doing today, my lady? I'm all right. I just got back from picking up something from my daughter. So I have to apologize to you as well, Colin, for being late for our... It was like a teacher training college, wasn't it? I was late for. <laughs> hey, no worries. No worries, though, Ellie. It is all good. All good. I'm just glad you can make it. I'm yeah. just glad you're here. And you got the package picked up for your daughter, so everything's yeah. good there. You're not mad at you. You don't have to have the wrath yeah. of Angela. And then um, Jose said to me, make sure you promote my show tonight. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. And speaking of Jose's show tonight, guys, Jose's mop-up show tonight, 10 p.m. Come on. Um, we even have a lovely graphic, two lovely graphics for the mop-up show. Um, there's oh. Jose. There's Jose looking jacked as heck. Uh, just look at the so muscles. Sexy. Guy. He's, been, he's, he's been working out. He's been working out. Uh, and then here he is. This was him a little bit before the last picture was taken. He's slightly smaller uh -huh. there. But yes, guys, tonight, Jose's mop-up. Uh, the link is right there in that comment up on your screen. Please, guys, make sure if you haven't already subscribed, you go and do that and you check out his show tonight and be ready because I'm going to say that like a thousand times tonight. Uh, but everybody, um, Chris, I, I've already asked Els how she was. We got her answer. Um, you know, men were less important and stuff. But how, how are you, secondly? <laughs> Thank you for asking me. Hello, Queenie. Queen Ellie. Uh, like and, the crown. Uh, that's what it was. Okay. I, I that's the crown. The crown, I'm Queen Ellie. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've never been creative, but I'm just spontaneous, I suppose. For good or for good or for worse, I don't know. But uh, I'm doing I'm doing well. Thank you for having me on once again. Always a pleasure with the Queen, and uh, and uh, and uh, always always ready, pumping. You are. Cold. You're, you're waiting in the uh, wings you know. to be called in at any time, uh, and I respect that. Twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Uh, Jose was saying out. you're trying to steal his job. He said you're trying to steal I, his job. I, I didn't. I've already stolen it. That's what he said. He said that too. That's good. Good stuff. My cat, my um, cat wants to get on the stream. Oh see. heck yeah! What's your cat's name? What's this? What's, what's Iggy. This Iggy. Iggy. After, after Iggy or Asalia, not Iggy in the YouTube. Iggy Asalia. Right. <laughs> Iggy Asalia. Yeah. I forgot all about. I forgot all about her. Yeah, it's been a while Iggy since I met Iggy. Iggy Asalia is Australian. Is she Australian? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I bet she, yeah, she is. I bet she's a yeah. Spurs fan. I bet she likes footy. I bet she's a Spurs fan. I bet she's you know, it, it's the natural, it's a natural progression. It goes, Jose, me, my days are numbered already. The cat. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. And, then I, and then I got a cat over here. If I really needed a co-host, I can get Grizz on screen. He's a good. He's a good cat. Um, yeah. I've got nothing. I'm a cat person. Nothing. I like dogs as well, but I prefer cats. Yeah, I, I'm same, same. Um, yeah, cats are nice. You got to fight and, and and earn their affection and love, yeah. and I kind of I kind of like that. You know, yeah. they do things on their own terms. It's um, like they stick two fingers up to you all the time. Yeah, they? yeah, oh yeah. You walk by and you're like, hey, come here, and they're like, no. <laughs> exactly. That's yeah. exactly how it is. Um, guys, we're all we're already joined by uh, some lovely people in the chat. Um, nice. We've got. We've got some meta football creep. I don't know who that guy is. We're gonna watch out for him. He is bad news. Bad, bad news. Um, bad medicine. We got, bad, bad boy. Yes, yeah, bad medicine indeed. Uh, yeah. Then we got then we got Stu from the disabled team. Uh, what's up, Woo, Stu? Wonderful. Like wonderful. Lee's with him. Uh, we'll find out. But Stu says, "Big up, Jose, Colin, and everyone in the chat." Can I please ask everyone to like and subscribe if you're new? Please. Thank you, everyone. What a good dude you are, Stu. Thanks, man. Appreciate it big time. And, uh, and speaking and of, you oh, know what to do. You know what to do. Get over to the disabled team, not just here, but to the disabled team as well. So do that. Um, let me. And Lee's. And Lee's as well. His son, Lee. 
Yes, exactly. Exactly. We will definitely yeah. make sure to get all the links up. Um, Want to get through all these comments real fast. We, we were going from one stew to the next stew, uh, potato mm. stew this time. And Number he's saying, hey, stew. big up Chris and Stu. I hope you're both well. I'm excited about Jimenez. I'm looking forward to an interesting chat. Well, I hope it's hope it's interesting enough for we a potato stew, but we'll do a great job. Don't worry. Um, again, we've got that Chris Meta football guy in the chat. Uh, he's, he's a good dude, everyone. Um, Big oh, it up, why? everybody. We got we got Walking Dekaru. Up. We got Dekaru saying never trust an Aussie. That'd be funny <laughs> if it was anybody. If it was anybody but Dekaru, we'd have to be worried. But Dekaru <laughs> is Australian himself. Um, and then he said, they also never my... trust a cat. And he Jesus. says, never trust an Aussie cat. Worst of both worlds. Um, <laughs> yeah, I bet you guys got a lot of strays out there. A lot of strays out in Australia. Yeah. Just seems like there'd be plenty of critters for them to catch. And they've, they've you know. got lots of stray cats in Cyprus. Do they? Yeah. And they hiss at you when you're walking down the road. You're like, holy shit! I'm just <laughs> trying to, I'm just trying to walk down the road. Yeah. yeah. Rude. Rude. They're feral. I say. They're feral cats. So you know, not the kind that you can just go up and pet, and they'll be nice to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so look at that. And Ange, we trust. Hell Obviously. yeah. Hell yeah, we do. And then we got audio artisan in the house. Hey. Good afternoon, peeps. What is up, my man? Uh, always good to see you, brother. And then we look, we've got Wayne Bonner. Um, hey, Wayne. Saying hello, everyone in the chat. Uh, I hope you're all having, and as well as you know, Colin, Chris, and Ellie, hope you're all having a great day. I uh, hope you're yeah. having a wonderful day so far, and, Wayne. Um, um, he, won, he won the Benson tour, Benson course, sorry, framed photo. Yeah. I'm always going to say Bentalib well uh, framed Benton photo just to make him think he got something worse. Uh, right. No, just, just kidding. Benton core. Benton core. Um, I can't roll my R's very well. But yeah, yeah, uh, that's awesome, Wayne. I hope you enjoy that. I hope that, you know, sits proudly on your wall for years and years and years and years to come. So wonderful stuff, guys. Um, yeah. So Spurs land real quick. Jose popped in right before the show started to just like drop some news on us. And uh, I kind of wanted to talk about that Ooh. a little bit. I have some links pulled up here. Good news. Um, <laughs> all kinds of news. Weird news. Different. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it covers all kinds of, not just football, but we'll start out with the football news. Um, yep. Sheffield United deducted by two points um, for defaulting on payments. Um, Jose... I'm, see, I've, I've got this article open. I haven't really had a chance to go through the entire thing. Um, but Jose informed me that this does kind of, they have to stay in the league if, if they get relegated, that this doesn't count. But they'll start next season uh, negative two points. So yeah. if, if, that's how, if that's how they're going to do it. I'm not, see, I'm not used to this whole points deduction thing. This season is the first one that I can even remember. Um, do you guys, is this something that's fairly common? In in uh in football, well, these points we deductions. Had, we had points deducted, but then they reinstated them. Um, and we were chucked out of the FA Cup as well. And then Alan Sugar moaned about it. And then go we, Alan. Yeah, but I, I don't know. It's not, that, it's not that common. It's not that common, but it has happened in the past. I wonder what's what's causing it all now. I guess they're trying to uh, stick to their guns about you know uh, everybody staying afloat and you know uh, no none of these teams pulling a leads isn't that the expression everyone always uses uh, didn't didn't leads like default on a bunch of loan payments or something but yeah with with Sheffield uh, United here the EFL said the defaults cumulative, cumulatively were in excess of 550 days and that they had agreed to pay the league's costs of 310,000 pounds but they did not do so um mm -hmm. Interesting. It doesn't sound like it was that much money involved, but again, it's only a two point. Uh, it's it's only a two point deduction. But yeah, Sheffield United, uh, if they stay in the league, will start next season at a solid negative two points. Um, bummer, but you know, not um, much difference, is it? No, no, not not a big one. Not a big one. Not compared to some of the ones I feel like we're gonna see, or that I hope we'll see. But um, anyway. Another thing Jose told us about was this semi-automated offside technology uh, approved by clubs for next season. 
And this article is from 15 minutes ago. So everyone, please forgive me. Uh, I'm going to kind of read a little bit of this. But the plan is to introduce the system after one of the international breaks in September or October, the Premier League said. Uh, FIFA first used the technology at the 2022 Men's World Cup in Qatar. Okay, wow. Um, I, I thought that went really well. I actually thought that that was implemented super nicely. I thought it went smoothly. Um, it is anticipated that the semi-automated offside technology could cut the length of a VAR check uh, for offside by 31 seconds. And I'm sure everyone can agree that sounds awesome. Um, we have enough, you know, breaks in the game. What, what I loved most about football was that it was a game that was just played. You know, it just happened. It just it just happened. And all, all of these, like, stop, start, stop, start. Not only does it take away from some of the excitement of the game, I wouldn't be surprised if, and I know there's no way to find this out, but it contributed to some of the injuries that we're seeing um, because players have to sit there for so long, let their muscles get cold, and then they instantly have to go back into, you know, a full sprint. Um, it'd be interesting to find out, see the stats behind that, but I, I don't have them, of course. Um, but what do you guys think? Are you are you guys both okay with this semi-automated offside technology? Chris, we'll start with you, bud. I don't know. Tech is good, then tech is bad, then all the changes... As long as it works and it doesn't, as long as it doesn't disrupt and it doesn't cause more confusion, and I'm fine with it. I've got nothing more to say. I just, I don't know. It's just, yeah. No, I, I don't know, I Ellie. What are you? I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. If it's good, it's good. If it's, I don't know. That's that it. Is bad. No, yeah, yeah. That's it. No other way to put yeah. it, Ellie. Ellie, what do you have to say about it? Though I thought during the World Cup, at least, it worked well. I thought VAR as a whole worked better at the World Cup than it has in the Premier League so far. Um, yeah, do you have any do you have any thoughts on this? Do you feel strongly one way or the other? Obviously any improvement is a good improvement, even if it's a slight improvement. Obviously yeah. the people that um, the people are, are operating the machine the machinery to do the lines, yeah, they're they're relying on the technology. So they have to go with the technology. You would take out all human uh, errors out of the equation, yeah? So it, it's a good thing with offside rule, you know, if you soft side, it's going to be a clear offside, right? Um, but um, I, I, I just don't know, I'm like crink, I'm thinking, will it improve it that much? You're always sceptical with technology, you know, um, and also, um, there, there are human people operating it, so they could make errors. Yeah, so. exactly, exactly. I'm hoping this automated factor of it, the fact that there aren't going to be as many people involved, uh, yeah. ho hoping that'll make it better. Uh, we'll find out, guys. We'll find out. To tell you the truth, I'd, I'd rather scrap it all and scrap it, but they won't. No, they there's won't. already too much money and pride. They'll look so stupid if they have to say oh no yeah. never mind this thing we implemented it actually was bad they'll never do that uh i don't think at least so yeah. there's a theory like... going around that they've implemented this var to make sure the top six pay the top, top six and it's biased towards the top six but i'm not saying nothing <laughs> if you speak if you speak you'll be in trouble <laughs> um yeah no i i I definitely could see that. I, I haven't looked close enough into the conspiracy theory to see yeah. how much truth there is in it. But yeah, I have heard that as well, Els. Uh, real quick, in the chat, before I get too far away, Niall Kane says big ups. Big up, Niall, yeah. man from Montrose. Right, no. Yes. Uh, Daniel E., he's talking about our man Jimenez already. He said about three quarters of his goals were scored before January. He's been out of form for nearly two months now. Um, Daniel, we will get there. I appreciate you as always. I'm going to star that, Daniel. Thanks. You're a good man. Um, Niall's giving us another hello. Niall, you are a very chatty guy today. Good to have you, man. Um, Kuva says big up to Jimbo's assistants yeah. and all in the chat. Kuv, the Kuvs. Good to see you, man. Nick Brown is in the house. Hi, call oh, Ellie and Chris. Hola, what up, Nick? Hola. Hola, amigo. Um, we got Adrian Soroka, and it's time for the daily guest. Brown or blue, or gray or blue? I'm going to say blue today. Blue robe. Um, no, no, this is my husband's, actually. See, Ellie, Ellie's a, copying you, Adrian. You better watch it's out. It's a hoodie. It's a hoodie. Ooh. There you go. You got to leave the hood. I, I wore it to be gangster. 
<laughs> Hell, we both said gangster at the same time, I think. Yes, that was yes. Perfect. <laughs> yes exactly. Yes. Hell yeah. Um, but Adrian, very good to see you, my man. Uh, and then Wayne Bonner says that he remembers that point seduction, Ellie. Uh, deducted 12 points, fined, uh, booted from the FA Cup. So Alan Sugar went to war, took them to court and won. What's the general consensus about Alan Sugar, real quick? Was he like liked by people? Um, he bailed the club out, right? Like with his own with his yeah. own money. That like, was before my he time. He pounded out the club. He pounded out the club because, the, oh, put it this way, Steve Perriman didn't like him too much, mm. and Steve Perriman is Mister Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, he's got he's got some pull. He's got some pull, and like when he appointed Ozzy Ardiles and Steve Perriman was his assistant. He said that he passed him across the, the stairway and didn't even acknowledge that he was Steve Perriman. Damn. That's disgusting. I don't like him personally. I don't, I don't know. He's a rich man. Rich men. He's a rich man. Yeah, he's a rich man. Um, well, yeah, rich. I mean, and it makes I sense. Rich people, rich people own football about. clubs. Chris, real quick, just real quick answer from you, because I know that we could go on this for a while. Alan Sugar fan? I'm no apprentice, mate. <laughs> You're fired. Fire. You're fired. You're um, fired. <laughs> get out of my office. You're fired, mate. Um, get out of my tub, Alan. <laughs> He probably did get chased out of a few pubs, but yeah, um, good on him for saving the club when it needed it. I, I will say that that yeah. but, you know, listen, um, there's always going to be there's yeah. always going to be good sides and bad sides to everything. Roll with it, accept it, give it context, switch it, twist it, whatever way you want, and just make it make yeah. it work for you. Exactly, make no, it I, work I, for you. I like well, it. I like it a lot. Like Hello, Ryan. Hello, Ryan. You know what I'm talking about, Ryan. <laughs> What uh -oh. people like That's about Alan Sugar, he gives Piers Morgan, because he's a goona, isn't he? Oh, he gives, yeah. <laughs> he gives Piers Morgan some, which I like. <laughs> yeah, they do have their little Twitter uh, back yeah. and forth, which is good stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Daniel E. again, Jimenez is only prolific so far in a league where, let's be honest, a lot of strikers have gone to the Premier and been trashed from that league. His record for Mexico is poor. Star on that one, too, Daniel. Uh, you make some good points here, man. Um, Wayne says they'd be cutting VAR check by 31 minutes, so we'll only have to wait 10 minutes for a decision. I like it. I like <laughs> yeah, it. Yes. That's true. Exactly. That's true. Exactly. Goal line tech has worked well. VAR is too subjective. If it's more like the former than the latter, the better. Descaro, totally agree, my man. Totally agree. Uh, again, too, everybody in the chat, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's so nice to have you guys. Look at this. And I didn't even see Chris's. Chris said, thanks so much for joining us. Loyal as always. Holy shit, we were on the same... Wavelength, my man. Mate. <laughs> Community that's why, manager. That's why we get on so good. Um, then we got John uh, LUFC Garside. Is that how you pronounce your last name? Garside, yeah. Hey, oh, I didn't want to absolutely demolish butcher. that. And, you know, yeah, butcher. 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 Uh, John, John be after you. Good, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. And then look at this. Luca ASC is in the house. We got an Arsenal fan in the building. What's up, Luca? Hope you're doing well, my man. Um, and look at this. Look who else is here. It's Julie Severs. That's my mom, everyone. Uh, everybody, say hey to my mom. She's the coolest lady ever. Um, yeah, everybody big up in each other. Nicholas Colson is in the house. I'm, I'm really enjoying having Barry uh, on, you know, in the chats regular, regularly for our shows. Very yeah. nice to have you, man. Um, it's been he's a while. He's coming to my house for the North London Derby, and he's going to Are you having? You having a big old? You having a big old party? Well. I'll feed them up first. There you go. That that sounds wonderful. You guys are going to have to have a video. I'm going to need to see a video of all this for sure. Um, oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, and then we've got Carl Simpson saying Yay. good afternoon. Hello, everyone I've in the been chat. Home for a while. What up, Carl? What up, Carl Simpson? Hope you're good, my man. Um, Chris so is thanking it. Chris is thanking everybody. Um, I mean, you got to thank people, man. The, the Leeds community. Uh, yeah, thanks for being here. You got to say it. You got to say it in their accent. Oh, I don't know how. To, how do I do a Leeds accent? Leeds hey, United. It's almost like Northern, like you were saying. Leeds. I almost feel like it's. No, almost, Leeds is in. 
No, I don't know sure. why you'd say that. Leeds is so far south. I don't know why you'd say that. I don't know, because I can't do the accent. And I, well, no. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey, Yorkshire. 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 I can't. Yeah, it's stuff. It's stuff. Luca says, you okay? Oh, man, we're good. We're good, Luca. Hope you are too, dude. Uh, he's I saying Spurs need someone like fine. Tony. <laughs> And I think that's a, yeah. that's one that I want to star too. I won't say why, but um, Mr. M is in the house. Mr. Ooh, M, yeah. what up? What up? Um, star that comment. Yeah, star that one. We're gonna star them all. We'll just star all, all the comments. Um, star everyone. Daniel E saying big up to John. John picking up Daniel. Love it. Um, Chris said at least Alan knew it was the right time to sell up. Cough, cough. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. He, he, yeah, he knew when the time, time yeah. was up. Kufa though, <laughs> Kufa, though, is saying that Sugar is underrated. The way he actually managed to sell that woeful, laughable <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amstrad junk is genius. I don't know what Amstrad... <laughs> what's he speaking? Amstrad. What is the... What's Amstrad? Amstrad. Like yeah. Computers. Computers, oh, mate. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll have, to look, I'll have to look into it. Um, yeah, look into it. You might even buy one off him. <laughs> maybe, maybe for like the he for the. Uh, uh, maybe, hey Ryan, maybe hello Ryan. Ryan, Ryan's loving it. Uh, Jess is saying, That's "Hey, eye candy," right. and I think she's ta- I think she's talking to you, Mr. Chris. Um, oh. yeah. Yeah, he knows, he knows. There, there you go. He's got a yeah. I wish I had a hood. I could join the gang. I'll have to get one in a little bit. I um, wish I had a mask on. John saying, uh, "Big up to Jess." Uh, every man, everybody saying hello to everybody. I love it, Daniel. More stats. God dang, I love you, Daniel. I'm gonna need you on the show sometime soon. But he says four goals yeah. in 25 games for Mexico. I need to see a bigger sample size of the guys scoring goals against decent competition. Um, yeah, dude, yeah. And then, and then we got Leo saying, Yo, 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 my homies. Oh, que pasa, hermano? Uh, Descartes saying we're all Northerners as far as he's concerned. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Hemisphere jokes. You gotta, you gotta get on those. Uh, and yeah, I think I think we've said hey to everybody. That's that's here, which is good. That's you always gotta, you know, you gotta say hey to the homies. Um, to uh, man, mandem. How do I use mandem in a sentence? Will you help me so I don't sound man. dumb? I want to say mandem. Man, man, not mandem. 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 Because that's like a group of people, right? That's like saying homies. That's like the same. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, demand them. Demand them. The people. The breadwin. Demand them. Okay. Um, I don't want to do ac- too many accents because Jose got in trouble for them not too long ago. So I don't want to get yeah, Jose yeah. in trouble. Um, oh, is that so? Wow. Uh, big ups, chat. I commented on the wrong stream. Evening, Ellie, Colin, and guests. The man from Montrose is having a cup of tea. I'm having a yeah. cup of coffee. Uh and it's cold as heck, but I made it, so I was like, I gotta drink it. Uh, I don't wanna don't wanna waste it. Um do you wanna, do you wanna see my two cockroaches? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yes. Now, For one, these how are, these are my lucky lucky cockroaches because I wear them. Oh god's name do you not lose them? Oh, they're pins. They're pins. Yeah, they're pins. Look. Okay, I was like, how do you hold on to those? I would oh, I would have lost cockles. those a long time ago. Um that. Yeah. That's good okay. stuff. Those are, I think I actually have a, did you get those at the Spurs store? Yeah. Really I have nice. one. I have one of those. I've got um, the bigger one as well. You know, Kate's got a big one at the back. You, you guys and all your money being able to buy the big stuff from the Spurs shop? Sheesh. Yeah, the big cockroach. I've got a smaller bridge. one than her in my bedroom. Look at look at this, Jose. Not Jose, sorry, but Leo said that Jimenez equals Jansen 2.0. And that was what I was going to, what I was going to talk about a bit. Everyone is taking everything away, but that's good. I like it. I like it. Everybody. Um, oh no! Oh no! I accidentally left my Tottenham. I accidentally left my Tottenham coffee at my mom's house over the weekend. Son of a <laughs> blank. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Came from came from the spur shop too. Um, but Kuva saying the Jess took her uh, hair hat her, her her hat off to reveal her hair yesterday, and he says it's CGI. Yeah, um, I, I saw that. I've never, I've never seen her with the hat off, so I, I, I don't know. Um, and then everyone's talking about some other stuff that I don't want to get involved in. And then, yeah, uh, cool, 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 cool. Well, guys, um, first of all, Santiago Jimenez. Uh, is he the striker you want? We'll just, we'll just throw it out there like that. 
Uh, and I'll start. I'll start with Els. You know that, that we're looking at a couple oh. strikers. The strikers a position. They, they said the other day, uh, or or some publication did. Some some journalist who supposedly knows things said that Tottenham have made a striker their top priority uh, mm. for the summer. And if that's the case, which I I truly believe it is, and you've heard some of the names we're linked to, um, is is Jimenez is Jimenez the guy you want? I like him, right? I know his record for Mexico isn't that great because four in 25, it's not a really good return. But yeah. in playing in a team that don't really get together that often for internationals, internationals are like, what are they, every three or four months you play a game? They're a crapshoot. It's really hard, it's really hard to, to stay consistent, yeah, I feel no like, excuse. at the international level. Yeah. It's no excuse, but I mean, Harry Kane... He's not Harry Kane level, but I like the way he, I like the way he moves. That way. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, I've been mobile. watching a lot more of him. Yeah, he's Definitely. very mobile, very athletic, scores really good worldy goals. Um, and I just like, I think he's a decent player. He's a very decent player. Whether, he's not going to be a replacement for Harry Kane because he's a totally different striker. But we're going for the quick, fast movers, aren't we? Players with pace, players who can move quickly into positions across the six-yard box as well, because we, we tend to play like that. We work the ball in and make it easy for the striker to score. So it's, it remains to be seen, Colin, whether he's going to cut it in the Premiership. Premier League, yeah. Don't come to us or another club. You know, but I think mm -hmm. his destination is the Premiership. Yeah. It does look like he is headed this 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 away. Um, yeah. Christopher, my man. Hello. Um, Hello. Hi, Chris. Uh, nice to see you. First of all, uh, Thank you. long time no <laughs> see. Um, no, so since the last time, yeah. Get a room. Get a room. A while. <laughs> Um, so no, because some, um, some some people might get jealous. Stop it. Yeah, I, one of them's downstairs asleep in the other room. Okay, but um, but just grab grab it and just put it in your pocket for later, Chris. The kiss, I believe you don't have to. Yeah, we took it. We took it. Blow you a kiss and you grab it and you put it in your pocket for later. Oh, oh, okay, all right, all right. Well, this is, this has gotten a little it's radar. A rude, yeah. it's just a bit. Sorry, I'm sorry, everyone. So, so okay. So you, you, we've watched. We've had the pleasure of watching some potch. I called him potch. Oh my god. We've had the pleasure of watching some pasta cobbler ball. Can't talk today. <laughs> words, words are hard. Words are hard. Words are I hope no one clips that. I took a nap. I took a nap earlier today. Once I take a nap, I'm like. Both begin with P.O. <laughs> they both play similar styles of ball. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, Pasta Coglu, we've had the pleasure of seeing some of his football. We've had the pleasure, if you wanted to do so, of looking back and seeing the way he's played with other teams. Yeah. Do you think that Santiago Jimenez is the striker we need? Is he First of all, is he the striker you want? But is he the striker that's going to fit well uh, with, with Ange Ball? I want... Giocades from Sporting Lisbon. Oh, yeah. Now you're talking. Um, I, I liked him at Coventry. I'm I'm not a hype train kind of guy. I see football my way, and that might coincide with other people, which is great. Um, because that means, because if I enjoy it, then the others who coincide are enjoying it as well. Brilliant. Because Victor, the Victor, great. whatever his name, Victor, how do you say that? Giocades. Yeah, Rock whoever, whoever he wants to pronounce it, I, know, I pronounce it Giocidis. Giocidis? Okay, yeah. well, I'm going to watch a, a quick goal compilation of him while we're talking so I can kind of be uh, at least a um, little bit. He is, he, he I, I, I liked him at Coventry. Um, I think he's a very technical, um, classy, robust, complete forward. He's young. He's got a high ceiling still, and he went to sport in Lisbon. Well, he, he's admitted that he went because of uh, Ruben Amorim, um, but so obviously he's sport in Lisbon. Sporting Lisbon's coach. Um, yeah, he's, he's put, he's, yeah, sport in Lisbon. Yeah, correct. Um, and that's the, possibly the next step up. Obviously, it's not elite football, but it's a very yeah, it's a step up from Championship football. All due respect. Um, yeah. 
and um, he is ripping it up. I mean, he is ripping it up. They play fantastic football, and he has just fit into that side like a hand in a glove. Um, yeah, well, but I, as, I notice is that he can beat a man, which is nice. A striker, you know what I mean? You don't always have strikers that, can, that can beat their man like his, this. His, his spatial awareness, his and and i mean he's just such a complete striker i'm not surprised that everybody wants him i mean he's just ripping it up um and he reminds me a that, lot that's of that who uh, ferguson is it evan ferguson what was that name of that ferguson yeah. fellow that... from brighton yeah he kind of reminds uh, me i know he's got I, I, yeah or, or yeah all, all due respect and all props but i want i want your credit i think he's more he's more complete than evan ferguson and um in my in my opinion but then yeah okay um uh he's he's just been doing it for so long um and he's not um, he's not someone that's just been doing it for five minutes and he scored six great goals and everybody's on the hype train and everybody's you know putting viral videos out there on TikTok saying look at, look at this great viral goal you know, he's been doing it for a long time you know and and um and he's going to keep on doing it he's the one that I want now Jimenez is he someone that I would be happy about, yeah. He's another one. He's another option that I would accept, of course, because I think Andrew would get would get a lot out of him because he has he has he has what it takes. Because as an individual player, he has the attributes as well, similar, um, and and he can do it. Um, so I wouldn't say no. But the most important thing for me, and what and what Ange says as well, which is, I coincide, he has to want to play for Spurs. And if he wants to play for Spurs, then I want him to play for Spurs. Individually, if I like a player better or not, that's personal choice. But if he wants to be in my club, I want him to. So I just saw a nasty goal. Anytime, anytime a keeper gets beaten near post, I love it. Love it. Um, yeah. That was disgusting. God, he, he really is good, you guys. Um, I know, obviously, you can't take these um, little goal compilations and you know extrapolate exactly how good of a player they'll be out of that but yeah he looks he looks a good player but if it so the reason i bring up jimenez is because it seems like that's who we've got the strongest links to at the moment um yeah. else do you think if we got him i mean I'm, I'm still trying to kind of place exactly like my finger on what type of striker he is who would you compare him to if you had to compare him to somebody he's got he's yeah. he's fairly tall i mean i've seen him score some headed goals he's Pretty good with the ball on the deck as well. I, I don't know. I think he's a pretty complete striker. I agree though with uh, with who was it, Daniel, saying that he hasn't really done it in a big league. He has though done it for more than one year. Someone said that he was the he was the, um, the oh god Vincent Janssen. He was Vincent Janssen 2.0. He's he's definitely better than Janssen just because he's done it two years and this will be the second year that he's yeah. last year he got 15 and 32. So you know roughly a goal every other game. Um, to assist this season, he's got 21 and 28. Um, so it's not like Jansen, if I remember correctly, Jansen had half of one good season <laughs> and then we yeah. brought him in. So there's a little bit of a difference there. But yeah, do you guys worry a little bit about the Dutch league and how they seem to, you know, strikers look great over there, but then they come over here and it's. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, There's Dutch players who've made it, like Van de Bart, who's made it. He's, I know he wasn't a striker, but he was a, a really good attacking midfielder. Yeah. And there's other Dutch players that have made it, but there's Dutch players that haven't. So it's, it's hit or miss. I think with this guy, we've got a proven goal scoring record, apart from Mexico, where he sort of failed to set Mexico alight. You know, but he's only young, remember? He's still learning his trade. He's, what, is he 22, 23? He's still uh, learning. Around about that, yeah. Do, yeah. Do, we put, do we put our bags in a 22-year-old, or which is Spurs' model at the moment, to go for younger players? Or do we go for a proven goal scorer? I would say um, Gurek, I can't pronounce it, Gurek is, is a better choice. I wonder what his age is. I'll have to look up his age too. And also, Sporting owe us one because they gave us Eric Dyer. We gave them Marcus Edwards, so they got the better trade off. And they then did, we yeah. Got Porro. We got Porro. So, really, they have to make it 3 1 and give us one of their better players. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And also, I, like I think Amarim's probably going to be Liverpool's next manager. It looks that way. 
if you if you read the press, no, it looks like that no, 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 no. He's come out. He's come out, and he's categorically um, said that that is false, and he's concentrating on sporting yeah, Lisbon. I'm saying, if you read the press, that's what you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Then, you, then you say he's come out and said this, but is it oh, a yeah, sorry. You never, you never know with football people. They do lie a lot. <laughs> they really do. Well, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's in their benefit. It's in their benefit to lie or not. Manager in, whoever the Liverpool manager is, right, I hope it's not Ange Postacoglu. No way. I, I don't think there's any way yeah. they would have to. They well, would not have yet, to. anyway. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Carl Simpson has a good point here. He said, it depends on if the rumors of us wanting to swap or Charleston for Isak are true. Would Newcastle ever do that? I don't know if Newcastle would ever. Mm. That doesn't seem Down like they're really doing themselves any favors. Yeah, maybe us trading with Charleston plus a truckload of money uh, for for Isak. Yeah. Um, oh, there you go. That's another thing. Money. I wanted him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's another issue. If if they want Richardson, uh, sorry, with cash, uh, yeah, but not not like for like. That that's just oh, no. not that, that's just never. not good politics. No. No, no, That's I don't think it'll happen. I wish it would, it. Carl. If it happens, trust me, I'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll <laughs> scream and run around and yeah, oh be awesome. <laughs> it'd be it'd be great. <laughs> it would be, it they would be. Not on belly for them if they want. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they could have, they could have Tanji as well. Yes. Um, yeah. Niall's saying he would be a good signing. I'm pretty sure he plays for PSV. If I'm not yeah. wrong, no. He played, Feyenoord, 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 he played against Arsenal and Rangers in the Champions League back in the summer. So no, he, he was in the Europa the League. He played in the Europa League. Um, yeah. And he's, his, his record in the Europa League is not bad either. Nine matches, five goals to this, and that's this season. Um, last season, he wasn't in the Europa League. But I don't, I don't think that's too bad. The, the Europa League stats actually make me feel a little bit better about him. Um, yeah. Nine matches, six. Nine matches, five goals, two assists. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, yeah from, from Mexico, Nile though. Yes, absolutely. Um, jazz, oh, Jazz. I love, I love, I love Jazz's coming here. He's a striker they might want. Hundred um, percent. There, there are quite a few out on the market. Uh, Nick said, "I usually have my mind made up on a potential signing, yet Jimenez leaves me uncertain." Yeah, but I mean, yeah. But then you can't really yeah. deny that that what Gekeris is doing, for example, you can't deny that. What Jimenez is doing, you can't deny what he's doing. And then, but then you want someone like Tony who's doing it for Brentford, but you can't deny that either. You just can't deny what people are doing. And and as and as and, and as truth stands, you can only do it in front of who you're doing it against. Very you true. See? You, so, you don't really choose. You don't really choose who you're who you're up against. Uh, you know, you, yeah, you play where they Arsenal, contracted you. I don't yeah. think he'd leave Sporting Lisbon after one season just to go to Arsenal. That would that after would definitely... what after what he's say what what he's currently Comment. claimed that he went to Sporting because of would have been our modding. So he's an eighty million release clause. That's a that's I'd a lot that. of it's a lot of cheese. Yeah, I'd, I'd pay that cheese. Uh, Pran Vat in the house. He's saying, Ayo, is Santiago Jimenez coming to Spurs? Uh, that's what a couple of journals are saying. And, and it, I mean, it's basically just that we're having fresh talks with Feyenoord. It's not even that he's coming or that he's agreed to come. Just that we're we're fond of him, uh, would mm -hmm. like him here. And, you know, and are taking, taking, uh, taking a look, taking a look, seeing, seeing what Feyenoord would want, seeing how, how likely, you know, this transfer is. Um, Ryan Jesus, we were in from when he was at Coventry. They must be talking about your man. Uh, yeah, well, there you yep. go. What do you think, Ryan? What do you think? I'm not sure if you've commented already, but what do you think of uh, of Gukadis? Um Would you have had him at, at Wolves uh, when he was at Coventry um, at that point, what you're saying? And would you have him, for example, at Spurs? I know you'd have him at Wolves, I, I can imagine, but do you think that he would he would be a good fit at Spurs from what you've seen, if you've, if you've seen much of us? But let us know in the comment, please. Definitely, Ryan. Ryan. Absolutely, Rye. The Rye guy. Daniel, he says, uh, your boy, another one getting overhyped. Um, so, I don't agree, but love you. Hey, but yeah, oh, no, but hey, every, I love everybody's opinions. It's good to read. It's helping me learn a little yeah. bit. 
Uh, Ed, Ed, Ed M in the house says saying that uh, Giocares is uh, signing a new contract with an increased buyout. Doubt he'll move this summer. Chelsea owners are negotiating buying a minority share in Sporting. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, Ed, big up. Glad to have you here. Hope you are having a good a good one today. Um, yeah, you know, good to see you, Ed. Thanks. And look at this. Thanks for commenting. Jimbo is here. Just a guy who loves Spurs. Big up the Queen, Chris, and Colin. Look at that. I got multiple. And that, and and that is not there. small. That is not some small thing, man. Just the guy who loves Spurs. That is something big, loving Spurs. Yeah. So thanks for being here, Jim. Absolutely. Too bad. I, I hate that you guys are sick and aren't able to go to your awesome thing tonight um, or tomorrow. I mean, um, so apologies for that. But yeah, everybody, make sure you tune in to Just a Girl Who Loves Spurs. That's where you'll find Jim. I will throw that link up very shortly. Um, Daniel E is is throwing his case out for Appenda. Is that how you pronounce that? Appenda. Uh, he's done. Yeah. In, he's done in four leagues. Uh, Gilchrist has done it in the championship and the Portugal league, uh, a league that even Jackson Martin has I, scored for fun. Appenda, he's done it in four leagues. Which ones, Daniel? He's been yeah, in look. Belgium. He's been in Germany, and that is about elite as he's done it. Okay, but correct me, please. Yeah, yeah, let us know. Let us know. Germany, I mean, Germany's not a trash league, not a trash can of a league. He's got, he's RB Leipzig. Uh, RB Leipzig is not small cheese, man. I mean, it's not, you know, but, yeah. but, and, and he's, a, I think he was at um, Bruges. I think he was at Bruges. I think he was at Bruges. I don't know. They've got so many teams over there that are similar. Genk, Genk, get confused. Those, those teams um, all routinely do okay in Europe. You know what I mean? They never like win European trophies, but they, you know, they, they'll, they'll pick up some points, win a match or two. And, well, not now. Not now. They did. Anderlecht is a European Cup winner. True. So, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And Bruges, uh, like Wafer, I don't know whether they have one or not. I can't remember, but they, they're, they're those typical teams that when you had quality players playing for them, like back in the day and all the rich clubs, came and, and, and stole all your players like they do now, you had very good quality players playing for small clubs, which were very difficult to play against, which means that your Anderlecht, your Bruges, your so-and-so-and-so, and so, with all due respect, they could beat bigger teams with more history. And a lot of that, so, a lot of that had to do with, with coaching, with, with playing style. Uh, I've, I've been doing some reading yeah. of uh, Inverting the Pyramid, Chris. I'm sure you've read that book. Um, mate, I don't know. I've even, I think I even got it here. It's it's good stuff. I, I just bought it and I also have it on tape in the car. Um, it's it's really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Look at this. He's got it. He's got a copy. Yes, it's 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 great stuff. And just from the history, just to, purely from like a historical, um, you know what I mean, point of view, it's fun to read. Um, you know, even if, Very good even if, like myself, you are not a um, a manager or coach of any variety. But yeah, I, I love it. On that one as well. Ooh, That's probably for me though. I was gonna say I've never uh, I've never seen that one. Yeah, uh, but no, ten year olds. Hey man, that's a yeah. That's, that's, important, yeah. that's the important age group. Start really hammering in the important stuff though. Yeah. So that's it's good. Yeah, got it all here, man. Um, got I was it all gonna here. say maybe maybe uh, you'll have to show me where you bought that. Um, but. Audio Artisan has a question for you, Chris. Uh, how sure. is Thank uh, you. Ha Haji's son doing in Spain? I've heard he's disappointed. Have you? Yanis, uh... Yanis, Yanis Haji, Yanis Haji. Listen, Yanis Haji was great on FIFA. <laughs> he was great on FIFA. And I used to sign him, but in real life, what a shame! What a shame! Um, That's a he, I don't know if the word was disappointed that you want to. I don't know whether you think he's disappointed being in Spain or he's disappointing because the stats are absolutely awful. Um, you don't hear about him in the press here, which you should. I mean, if you're someone's son and you've been someone or you've been somebody in the world of football, you should be, you know, talked about if you're doing, you know, if you're reeling the good stuff in. But... Yeah, yeah, it's no it shows that the question, no, no, no matter who, no matter who your parents are, uh, it does not automatically mean you're going to grow up to no. be. No, 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 but but he has he's, he's he's got a great left foot on him as well. He should, but mm, Sorry, no, my yeah, no. Phone me. no, you're okay. My phone. It disturbs the stream. 
Talk. No apologies. No apologies necessary, Els. You got family stuff going. I'm getting You're a good. laptop this week, though. I'm getting a laptop this week. Yeah. You should have got two for one. It's more professional, isn't it? Hey. Wow. Yeah. It all. It all works. It all works. Um, yeah. But we got. We got everybody saying hey to everybody. Kuva brings up a nice point here that I like. Jimenez has similar has similarities to early Alan Shearer in terms of strength and ability to be a target man. Obviously, yeah, it'd be yeah, a stretch yeah. to expect he'll suddenly find the same goals, but he's a proper number nine. No, yeah, yeah, yeah I totally agree with this. I totally agree with this, and I think he's even more associative. Like he, he's he, like um, com he combines well with other players more than Shearer. Shearer was your out-and-out -out striker because that's yeah. how he used to play, and his com and his conditions, uh, like his his style was that. I think Jimenez is more of a team player. Uh, and not so dependent or reliant on him as Newcastle were for Shearer, although Newcastle had a brilliant team back then. But um, but yeah, very, Hoover, I couldn't agree more, mate. That's a very nice comparison, Kuba, and it helps it helps me a little bit as well. Um, so thanks, Coops. Big yeah, up, as always, to Kuva 99 He's yeah, no, he... the one-twos and moving the ball quickly. He and is, yeah. Space, which I like in a striker. He's also yeah. very positionally aware. I think all of these yeah. crosses that that uh, my boy Werner is putting in that everyone says are are off target or or to no one. I think that they're actually in a really good place. I think he's putting the place. You know, the placement of those is, is great. I think we just need someone there to finish him off. And I think Jimenez would yeah. absolutely find the end of yeah. those. Um, guys, Ronnie is hearing that we can get Tony for fifty mil. I say get him. So I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, my keeper West Ham, and oh, it's time, guys. Um, and you, you all know what it's going to be. I gave well, it all away, <laughs> but and I'll, I'm even going to play the intro, even though I'm not supposed to, because Ooh, the music will get me demonetized. But who cares? Here we go. Three, yeah. two, one. Welcome, everybody, to Keep or West Ham, the Internet's favorite Tottenham game show. Um, I'm going to make some get some more fun music, too, for this. Um, but, guys, welcome in. Um, we have been doing a Keep Bench or Sell to West Ham, but today is, is merely a Keep or West Ham. We're going old school with this. Uh, and since these two names keep getting brought up, uh, I thought, why not just get this done, get this over with? Jimenez or Ivan Tony? Uh, which player would you prefer at Spurs? Uh, and, and you know, you can go, you can take this whatever way you want. You can say, What's more realistic? Uh, who do you think? Who do you think Pastor would prefer? Who would you prefer? You can answer this however you want, but if you can only have one of these players at Spurs, which one are you picking? And take your time, no rush. We'll see if anyone in the chat's got any answers in yet. Um, but yeah, yeah, that's uh, really go for it. Yeah, um. I don't know, because like I've, Ivan Tony, I know more about him and he's premiership proven. More of a known quantity, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's playing for a, a club that are quite struggling at the moment because they, like, they have, I think they've lost 12 in 15 or something similar to that. Um, he's come back and you would have thought he would have really lit their fire, but he, re he scored, but he's not really really lit the fire in, in Brentford, but... Jimenez, I like the way he moves. I think he's he's a little bit more mobile than Tony. Um, I'm going to keep Jimenez <laughs> because I like his movement more and I, I think he scored some fantastic goals, more of a team player, and I think he'll fit into our style of play more than Ivan Tony. That's why I'm choosing. Nothing to do with Poster or anything like that. My own personal preference. So I'm keeping uh, Jimenez and sending Tony to West Ham. Chris. Okay. Hey, I think that um, I've, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I would, out of the two, 
Um, yeah, I agree with Ellie. Um, Tony is prim proven. Uh, he he is he is a uh, he's an out and out striker as opposed to. I mean, I suppose he can combine and he can associate. I, I'm sure that most can, but naturally, I think Jimenez is more is more like he's more he's more. I think he would he would fit in better with with our way of playing, yeah. Um, than Tony, um, and he's been playing under uh, Slot, who plays that kind of football anyway. So it, it's not like he would have to adapt to something that he's not accustomed to, whilst Tony would have to. Although Brentford do play a kind of you know attractive brand of football, I just think that Jimenez wouldn't have that big of a problem um on the mentality side of things i think that Ange wants someone that is like uh like 100 robust up here and i don't think tony has it all up 100 up, upstairs i'm not saying that he's loopy i'm just saying that he's off the pitch but problems or doubts may be something that Ange might not you know, um, might doubt, might doubt, might might worry about. Yeah. So absolutely. You know, with, always with respect. Always with respect. Um, yeah. But it is what it is. I mean, you know. I but I, I'm keeping. I'm keeping him in it. I think keeping everybody deserves retribution. If he. If yeah, yeah, he yeah, shows, yeah. Sure. Yeah. If he shows that he's got over those problems and that he's not going to hinder his career. You're getting a fabulous striker in time. On the cheap, I, on the cheap I, too I for for more sport. Bit better with our style, that's why. But Tony is a very yeah. good, accomplished striker, and he can strike yeah. the ball very well. You yep. saw it against Arsenal when he nearly scored that goal that nearly caught out their. Pa- that was fabulous. That, that shot he did. And lucky for him, um, Ramsdale saved it. You know, so. Yeah, I, I think both of both players have got different attributes, but I would go for him and his. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it. They do have very different attributes. I remember when Kane when Kane was rumored to be going, and then was definitely going to go. Uh, Ivan Tony is who I wanted in to replace him. Obviously, he had his yeah. issues with his not being able to play. You know, um, a big chunk of the season. Um, yeah, like you said, people make mistakes, people do stupid things, and I think you should be allowed to have a comeback from that. Um, yeah. it's, it's when you start making that a routine or like a habit that that you have to, you know, say okay, enough is enough. You got to draw the line somewhere. The chat is completely split on this, and a lot of people are saying neither, and that is okay. Okay, uh, but um, let's see, where where did we start? They're, here? they're, they're doing a Switzerland. <laughs> they are. They are. Uh, Jazz Fusion says. Jazz Fusion says keep uh, Santiago. Destiny 5 says that Jimenez could be another Hansen and Tony is a gooner, so Isak is the man we need. Kate is agreeing. He actually supports Liverpool because Drula, my niece, who you all know, mm-hmm. knows the Brentford lads very well and he actually supports Liverpool. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Well, well, still, I don't want him then. That was hot off the, uh, the press. Hot off the presses. <laughs> a little bit of inside info. Well, yeah. I, I, I still kind of. <laughs> I still am a little salty towards Liverpool for that Champions League final. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, Mane, yep. boy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, Wayne Bonner says he doesn't trust Tony. And he's gonna sod all about the other fella, so he'll go with the other fella. Anybody who says fella is a good person for me. So Wayne, uh, big up, agreed. Destiny Five though says so neither. Uh, Just yeah, well, yeah. has the best joke of the day. Tony's too big of a gamble. Love it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. I agree. It's too big of a gamble. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I feel like if, if everyone's worried about whether or not Jimenez can come into the league and do it, um, if you're worried from that perspective, then Tony is is far less of a gamble. But if you're worried about his off the pitch yes. stuff and his, his gambling, uh, then I guess you could say he, he is too big of a gamble. But I think. I think if they both played in the league next, if they both played in the Premier League next season, I think they'll both have a similar amount of goals. I'll um, tell you who I wouldn't mind from Brentford, though. There's two players I would love to have: Umbumu and yep. Visa. And yep. Visa. 
They're you two ever, ever... hard-working players, but they've got technicality better than Tony. And and Bumu, mm. before he got injured, he was scoring for fun. Mm. Uh, Brentford don't they don't they do a similar and correct me if I'm wrong I think Brentford have a similar scouting style to what we're like moving towards yeah. uh, with with Longa and all of the data driven model stuff I think that's how Brentford have been doing it for a while and it's it yeah. seems like it's they've done a good job they're 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 scouting no. obviously you can't I mean you can tell if a player is going to have no. you know psychological issues like Tony did or whatever but still I. Is that being overhyped? Are we overhyping a guy making a couple bets? I don't know. I can't tell. Uh, Nick, no, Nick Brown says. The way he did it because he, he's fiddling people. It's was like he betting? Was he betting game. against himself? Yeah, like oh, that's, when, that's when a corner's going to be taken or when a throw-in's going to be taken, and you oh. win money. Yeah. So, well, yeah. Doesn't he make enough? Yeah, well, that is kind of weird. Um, you see what I mean? Yeah, Nick Nick Brown saying keep Tony. Um, Destiny Five Green with Kate there, love it. Uh, Ryan Ryan G says sell both and get uh, Luis, Luis Appenda. Get him. Um, Who did Luis Appenda play for? Yeah, that's fine. No. Bruges. Uh, Bruges, Bruges then, yeah, because I, yeah, RB Leipzig. He played for Bruges, and I think Daniel he put it in. I saw Le he played Le for Lens. Yeah. Yeah. At, yeah, Lens and. Vitesse, yeah. Vitesse on, 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 on yeah. Vitesse on him, yeah. Okay, we'll have to look him up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. So, uh, keep keep him in as and have Valise as a backup. That's actually not a terrible idea. Yeah. I, I've forgotten all about Valise. He he's injured this season, correct? Is that can someone yeah. can you guys? Yeah, yeah he's, he's in Spain though. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was a weird he's loan move for Sevilla, him. He's at Sevilla, isn't he? He's at Sevilla. Hey? He's, he's at, at Sevilla. Sevilla. Yeah. Yeah, Sevilla. Sevilla. And, and they, they've had, they have a, they're a pretty good team with a pretty good striker already. I thought so. I was sort of yeah. surprised to see him yeah. make that move. Did that surprise you at all, Chris? I, well, I mean, it's surprising seeing the amount of strikers they've already got or they already had at the time of his loaning, but. It's good because you're not just stuck at a team that you've, you know, like you want me, but then you don't play me and you don't, you know, at least he's gone out and he's in a different environment. He's learning and he's, but you got yeah. injured. Okay, fine. That's great. But it was surprising. But then I don't know. I mean, the ins and outs of stuff I don't know about. Um, yeah. And, and sure. it's, it's and it's a huge club. It's huge history. I mean, it's, you know, um, but it's not having the best of seasons, but yeah. That's all good as well. What you know, it's not all glory and roses. You know, you have yeah, to go you, through the mud as well. Have a couple of bad loans as well. So you grow. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. Of course, you grow. Well. You have to grow. Eric exactly. Lemelis and it's good there, because of the language. The language. The language is good. So right. Yeah. yeah. Eric, Eric Lamella's there. They all speak Spanish, which is nice. Yeah. Like, and Eric Lamella's there. He's out injured at the moment, I believe, as well. Surprise, so they surprise. Both, they can both bond, and Eric Lamella can teach him the Rabona as well. There you, you know? go. There you <laughs> go. And, how to, and how to step on people. You know what commit, I mean? commit some dirty fouls without getting caught. Yeah. 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 This is how you, you'll take him to one side. This is how you do the Rabona. You've got to perfect it. <laughs> um, against Arsenal, and then get sent off. Minutes later, um, Ed M. <laughs> big up, Ed. He says, "If it's another player, oh my god, I still can't believe that happened." Uh, but but Ed said, "Tell me, get, get out of here." He, uh, Chris, what did, what did you think when that happened? Real quick, were you, so you were probably over the moon with the goal because who wouldn't have been North London derby? Ravona uh, looked awesome, and then he won the Pushkas of all, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, it did. It did. Well, I mean, um, it's great technical prowess, isn't it? I mean, you got yeah. you got to give him props for that at least, isn't it? I mean, bloody hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't the first time he had done it in game either. Uh, Sheriff against Sheriff, I believe. Um, he's good and, with his he's good with his feet, but not so clever with his hands. There you go. That, yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. Still can't believe that, man. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, Ed says Ed says that Tony's the better player without a doubt, but Jimenez is younger, so he has that advantage. But they're both good. Tony is a safer bet to succeed, though. Um, I, I, um, I would agree can, with I, that. can I address this? Mm -hmm. 
Do I don't want to. I'm not a polem. I'm, I'm not a polemicist, so it's not nothing <laughs> serious. But but I don't understand this better player. Uh, they're different. They're not better. They're different. You know. Um, yeah, no, I'm with you. You know, better better for what? If you put Tony into Spurs, and you know you had a season with Tony, and you were, and then you had another season where you're allowed to play exactly the same, but with Jimenez. Then you'd be able to to say which is better, you know, what is the outcome. But we can't have trial and error because football doesn't work like that, you know. Um, better player depending on what, but because they're different, you really won't know. You can compare strikers' styles, like Batistuta and Shearer. They were very similar because they were out and out, and they would score goals from 20, 30, 40 yards out top bins because yeah. and, and and their style was, you know, but. Tony is more <laughs> like that than Jimenez is like that, you know. Yeah. They're, they're, yeah. But you can compare styles, but 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 they're not the same player. I'm having yeah. trouble pinning down Jimenez's yeah. style. Just the way it's now that you mentioned that, I'm, I'm having trouble. He's a bit of everything. He's, he's a bit not. Of everything. He, he can do the poacher goals. He can do headers, yeah. and he can do yeah. the worldy goals. So he's got a bit of mixture, but he's yeah. very good. He's so he's I'm, almost I think not. He's gonna I stole very well. Do you think he's that hybrid kind of winger striker, or do you think he's like no. a proper pure out and out number nine? Well, I heard someone no, no, say no. he can play across the front three, but I've only seen him play as not an out and out striker, but he's a very mobile. He picks up and he joins the play and he builds up with the players. Yeah, and then I wouldn't play. want him on the wing. I'll just yeah. put it that way. No, 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 no. He's not a winger. No, he won't no. play on the wing. No, he's, he's a striker. Look, he might. He might. He might have been seen on the wing, but as not players as a interchange winger. and move because, around, yeah, be, yeah, yeah. Because strikers can fall, you know, they they can fall out outwards to draw a defender, yeah. or because the or ball goes that way, the strikers there, or you know, but yeah, it doesn't mean he's a winger. You know, no. I I can see sim similarities um, to um, to the PSG. The guy who was at Benfica, that his name escapes me. He played last night. He came on last night. They're like deep. Mm. They're like deep, deep, uh, deep line forwards. They're not out and out strikers. They're deep line forwards. Um, so I can't remember his name. Portuguese um, guy that went from Benfica. To, huh? Who did he? Who does he play for? PSG Benfica. now, but he played for oh. Benfica. Oh. Um. And it's no. not Gonza uh, Gonzalo. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Ryan. Gonzalo Ramos. There you go. Gonzalo oh, Ramos. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Although he's Ryan. not having the best of seasons now, he was ripping it up with Benfica. And um he's like a deep line forward. He can play backwards. He can also play as a target man. He can also combine with the rest of his team. So that is versatility yeah. as yeah. opposed to just he, being a target he, he, man. He kind, like he, he kind of sounds that's like Isak. He kind of sounds like Isak then. That's what he likes as well, because Kyogo... But Isak can play on the wing as well. Yeah. Fair, fair enough, fair and news. When they had the uh, Yota on the wing, they combined yeah. very well together. So he likes the yeah. mobile striker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's like target but, men. Yeah, I mean, Isak might be... Might be uh, because he can play... Not, not so much as a... Hayley, not so much as as a winger per se, but more like a, a left forward or a right forward. I've seen him when he played for Real Sociedad before he went to Newcastle. And and he can play up front as a loan. He can play in a two. He can play just off the forward, you know, or just behind. He's, he's versatile in that sense, but he's not a winger per se. Yeah, you know, I'll just so yeah. it's not the same. The Spanish names. Oh, I, I just, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just natural that. though, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. I know. Yeah. We we pronounce it incorrectly in England, but yeah. then Jose yeah, well. and yourself can correct us. <laughs> but then we never. I never learn. At least I I just continue to say it incorrectly. Um, Lee Statham yeah. TV. Everybody, Hello. Lee Statham is in the house. What's up, Lee? Hi, big up, Lee. Yeah. Big up. I like that. Big up. Um, Destiny Five said, "If I had to choose Tony, of course, because he's proven in the prem. I just don't like his arrogant attitude and his Arsenal tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that that oh, isn't that isn't good stuff. He's supposed um, to support Liverpool. Maybe my source is wrong. <laughs> maybe he supports both. I mean, yeah, people get tattoos. Maybe because we both. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Lee Smithy Smith is in the house. Yeah. He's yeah. off in the mill punt for right now. He's he's got some time for us." 
big up Lee Smithy Smith. Hope you keep him well, Mike. Yeah. Take, yeah, take, 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 good care, take good care of yourself. Hope you're getting all better. And he's, no, he's no the man more with the tattoos. He's the man with the tats. He is. And he'll tell you, though. He's, he says he's tattoos are dumb. Don't get them. He, said, he says yeah. don't get it. But he'll tell you not to get any, which I think is a cool a cool thing. Uh, uh -huh. Audio, audio Artisan that. says audio artisan says get both Stella Richie and put Sun on the left wing. Shit. I mean. But where'd you put, where'd you put him in it then? Right. I, you, I, you can't play with two up front because no. we don't play with two up front. No, 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 there would have to be some major rotation. One player would have to like play yeah. in your. Well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, but I can find it out. instead and Visa, they're better. <laughs> you heard it. You heard the. Lady. I love them. I think that Visa reminds me of Garth Crook. He plays very much like Garth Crook. He's oh really yeah. With everything. Interesting. 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 Mm -hmm. You saw the yeah. game um, against Arsenal when he he uh, closed down Ramsdale. And he needs yeah. to, yeah, because he's yeah, a yeah. very instinctive player. I love him. I think he's brilliant. Let's he's grab him. That's that's all I need is Ellie's is Ellie's sign off stamp of approval. Oh, I, yeah. Let's get him. Real him. quick, guys. Here's a segment I've never done on this show, uh, yeah. and it's silly, and it's it's not. It doesn't have an opening yet or anything like that. Um, but I actually need to make sure that I have the that I have it open. Okay, so guys, you remember a striker that we were after for a long time. Uh, he played for Swansea and then he played for Manchester City. His name is Wilfred Boney. Uh, oh, yeah. You remember, you remember Wilf? Yeah, I remember uh, Well, it's time for the very first edition of Where Are They Now? Woo! Um, Wilfred, Wilfred Boney style. Uh, so that's him there, guys, Wilfred Boney, oh, if you don't God. remember him. Wilfred Jeez. Boney He's is nothing. currently playing for a team called Always Ready. That is him in the Always Ready kit right there with looks like the, the owner of the team. Um, they are in the Bolivian Premier Division. Uh, and he is now the first Ivorian player to play professionally in Bolivia. You'll remember he he um, you know he left Swansea for City for Manchester City. He then was loaned to Stoke City. After that, he returned to Swansea, uh, with Swansea paying 12 mil to get him back. Um, after that, he went to uh, Al Ittihad uh, in in uh, you know overseas, uh, and then after that, he returned back to uh, the Eredivisie. Why can't I say that word? But back to the Netherlands. Eredivisie. At a divisi uh, to play for yeah. another team, I can't, I can't say, but, but I just think it's really weird that he's in the <laughs> Bolivian. I think it's weird that he's in the Bolivian Premier Division, Premier Division, uh, playing for Club Always Ready. He looks, he looks ready in that picture, doesn't he? Um, yeah. Him and, and Don Bele look like they're ready to hang out <laughs> and eat a pizza. Uh, no, just saying, he's always been, he's always been a big dude. Wilfred Boney's always been a big dude. Yeah. Um, we were very, we were very, very. Uh, we were in for him at one point, and I really wanted I really wanted him at Spurs. Uh, I don't know if anyone here remembers that. Uh, yeah, look at this, Destiny 5. Boney was an underrated good player. Uh, Ryan said he would have just said Dutch League. Yeah, well, I didn't. I didn't, Ryan. Uh, he was quality at Swansea, to be fair. He really was. He really yeah. was. Yeah. Daniel E., Boney, Boney was quality in his first spell at Swansea. Going to City was not a smart move. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think he was under Michael Laudrup, wasn't he? When Michael, I think yeah. Michael Laudrup was there when he was there. But I just yep. remember him as an explosive player. Like he used to burst and score a worldie. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He wasn't the most technical player in the entire world, no. that's for sure. Um, but, yeah, um, good stuff, good stuff. Um, we've got Lee Smithy singing, uh, you should have cashed out, you should have cashed out. Ivan Tony, you should have cashed out. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> uh, audio telling us that Valise went on loan because Scarlet came back, which makes sense. Can't have can't have two strikers that aren't going to get any playing time at the team. Um, but yeah, that was just Wilfred Boney. I was just like, "What the hell is he up to?" And I looked, and I, I looked, said, "Club always ready." What is that? Um, so I thought you guys might want to know. That's that's where he's at. Um, Daniel E saying that I should like Openda. He's the whole reason why Werner is at Tottenham. Uh, I didn't know that. Is did did. Leipzig get him? Leipzig get him? 
must yeah that must be he must play there now um yeah cool well uh i do i do love me some Werner. so um maybe i maybe i would love openda if i saw him play yeah. um leo's saying that he's not the type of apple we need in the dressing room he's talking to ivan tony uh i don't know is he is he that bad the guy who gambles he's got a gambling problem we can get him help for that is he just like a colossal dickhead on top of that from what you guys understand i don't know i i just think that you could probably get past the whole gambling thing right you get him some help you get him some treatment you you know you you like any other kind of addiction um yeah i don't know it just seems it just seems like a i don't know i i could see i could see dan the man levy taking a punt on him because we could get him for a good deal that what he would consider a good deal compared to what he was before just how like sort of, sort of how we got um Asuma on a on a good deal. Obviously, totally different reasons, totally different things. Don't want to get into that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, in this system, ideally, the more versatile you are, the better. So that would mean that Tony is not the ideal uh, the ideal person for this system. Jazz Fusion, big up Jazz. Um, Correct. And what else we got here? Just people talking about Boney. Oh my God! Yeah. Do you remember Michu? Uh, do you guys remember Michu. Michu for Swansea? Yeah, of course. Swansea, yeah. Swansea had a Swansea had a yeah. knack for getting strikers that uh, performed really well for them, and then just could not perform afterwards. Michu was where, didn't he come from like the Spanish second division, uh, and then straight yeah. into straight into Swansea, I think, and then just kind of fell off after a year. Yeah. Or two. I can't remember where Michu came from. He was, he was there when Michael Laudrup was there as well. But he, he was brilliant. He some really good goals against Arsenal, which I really enjoyed. Where he, he was the goalie. Yeah, he scored a couple of goals and they won. I think they won 3 mm. 2 or 3 1. I can't remember the score, but I know he scored two yeah, goals. Any, any player yeah, who great. scored two goals against Arsenal, good by me. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yep, they, they get the stamp of approval for yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, Graham is in the house, everybody. Graham, what's up, my man? Big up. Yes, yes. Uh, and everyone is bigging up each other. I love it. I love it. Um, Daniel, he says, most football, most footballers are knobs. Bloody hell, if we don't didn't sign a player who does not have an ego, uh, takes away about 90% of players then. That's a good point. That's a good point. I didn't – I'll tell you one thing. I did not want James Madison. Uh before he came to Spurs. I thought James Madison was a colossal dickhead, like just the biggest, most arrogant douche. And then he comes to the club and it turns out he's a good guy and I like him. And I think that it would be that way with lots of players. I think it's easy to hate a player from another team. Uh, once they come to your team, put on your shirt, put on, you know, got, got your colors on, got the badge you know, for their heart. Um, yeah, you, you, you sort of can't help but like them, especially if they score some goals for you, you know, help help your team out. Um, we got Leo saying, what a hey. great story. Leo, I don't know if he means meet you or what, or or the story about Wilford Boney. They're all good. They're all good stories. Uh, he was from Ryan. How do you... Um, he came from, you, he came from, yeah. What's, what's uh, how do you say that, Chris? Rayo. What's the... Yeah, is almost. Right? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Rayo, Rayo, Vallecano. Vallecano. Uh, no, it, it, like the V. The V is almost a B. Vallecano. Oh, Vallecano. Ba oh, okay. But it's spelled. Ryan, Ryan's got a, got a, his failed Spanish. Uh, it, the is uh, the N. The, the N before the C doesn't doesn't go. It doesn't exist. He's put an N in. It's va Vallecano. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Rayo Vallecano. Ryan yeah. is Bio, Ryan. Bio Ryan, is Ryan cool knows stuff. Dude. He does. He's a cool dude. He's a really cool dude. I'm really glad that he's here. And now you got Madison. a song about him that's constantly stuck in my head. Oh, my James Madison oh. song. Yeah, I'm very, very, very glad you like it. Oh. Um, you should do one for Benson Core. He's better. I'm, I'll try to think of one. It's harder. His name doesn't rhyme with anything as much. But I'll, I'll think. I'll think of something. Um, but Jazz says no two people are alike, Colin. But being in Indiana as you are. <laughs> good, good, good memory. And if not familiar, Google Art Slipter sometime and read about how deep that addiction combined with uh, money to athletes can go. Yeah, man, I'll definitely check it out. I'm gonna Google his name right now so I don't lose it. Uh, Me too. Doo -doo -doo -doo.
That's a very German name he's got there. Uh, Optimus. Cool. Optimus Schlichter. Schlichter. Uh, he played. Oh, sweet. He played. Uh, he played NFL. Uh, for, for the Colts franchise. Nice. No wonder you brought up the Indiana thing. I get it. I see where you're at now. Um, Daniel, he says, as long as Ivan Tony scores goals for this club, I could care less. A lot of people are like that, Daniel. A lot of people are like that. What about you two? Um, do you guys give a, give a, give a shoot, give a hoot who, uh, who plays for us as long as they play well and, and the team's doing well? I, how um, important, how important is attitude to you guys? Um, well, the character of the player is important for me. Um, I just feel, I just think he wouldn't fit in. It's not about scoring goals. I just don't think he'll fit into our system. He's more of a, a target man, isn't he? And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work particularly hard either, what I've seen since he's come back. Um, yeah. But he scores goals. That's one thing for sure. He can score goals. He knows where the goal is. But I, I would, I, no, I, I just like the character of the player is important to me. You know, and I know you can get retribution and, you know, you can get forgiveness as well. But I just feel, no, it, it's not for me. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, this, I'm kind of feeling the same way personally. Um, but I would like to point out how fickle I am. I am a fickle mofo, and if he comes yeah. to Spurs, I'll, I'll be ready for <laughs> be ready for me to love him because I probably will. Um, but Chris, same question for you before you answer this one from Rob. What What do you think oh. is, is is the player's attitude? I mean, would you would signing Tony? I'm just using him as an, as an example. It could be any player who's okay. got supposed attitude issues or, or, or problems or even documented known ones um is that enough for you to not sign a player do you think that do you think that alone is enough to to exclude a player from from your list of targets um if you if you I were, wouldn't if you were coach what would you do you have to take into consideration i mean i know i know um from the from the coaching that i do um and it's under it's like the under 12 under 13 bracket um I know that some of the some of the guys are the way they are at that at that age. I'm saying, yeah. And and um, I know that some of them have attitude problems because of their age, because of adolescence, because of. And I have to take it into consideration. We have to take it into consideration at that level because if you want a co a, a cohesion between the team, because it's a team sport. Right, you have to take that into consideration. It's not because you don't like them. It's nothing personal. At the end of the day, it's football, right? Yeah, and you want absolutely. the best for the club, for the for the for the for the team, for your end goal, which is whatever it may be. Okay, you have to take it into consideration. So if you're talking about elite for, uh, football, sorry, and sport, um, of course I have to take in attitude. But then you're talking about a 25-man squad, and you've got so many personality traits, so many things that sometimes you just can't go around having big egos, which is more common than not, um, personal problems, family problems. It's so complex that you just have to deal with it and like it and lump it and you're not going to get the perfect player, you know? Yeah. Um, so, so yes, you have to take into consideration. I'm sure that if Tony were available for 50 million, uh, Andrew would have a chat with him and he would evaluate from top to bottom, inside out. He would turn it on its head to to have reassurances that Tony would not be affected by his off-the-pitch issues. And if he wasn't yeah. convinced by Tony's conviction and he wasn't convinced by himself and that feeling that I'm sure Ange has of Tony, of Tony wanting to be at Spurs, he'd rather pay 70 or 80 for another player. I love you know, the way I love what, the way you put that. Yeah, you know, yeah. If he doesn't absolutely. convince, he doesn't convince, and it's nothing personal. So, boom. 
Boom, boom. And uh, I, I hope you're right. I hope, I wonder, that makes me wonder too how much time the manager gets to spend with these players before, you know what I mean, before a choice is made. Obviously, they only probably meet once or twice. You know, you wouldn't think that it would be a whole lot, um, a whole lot of time invested. But then again, I don't know. Uh, Chris, you probably have the most, um, you know, you, you probably know more about this than we do. Um, but, but you know, as, as players are being recruited, um, yeah, how, how much time do you think they spend? How much time do you think Pasta Coglu spent with Mickey Van Der Ven before he signed him? Just one or no. two meetings, probably, and then was like, "Yeah, no. I want this guy." Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if, it, if it, I don't know if it's common knowledge or not. I haven't. I don't know uh, that much in depth um, or what has transpired since because I've been away from it, and you know that I've been I've been away from from the game and, and everything. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, and the channel and and that, and that lot. I the, so so yeah. Um, to simplify. Um, it, it could have been as simple as a phone call and hey are you free next week um because we're yeah. thinking of signing you um and hey can you come over to london what are you doing hey uh, next tuesday morning at 11 we'll fly you in we'll do this we'll do that um or i'll go over there myself i don't know something simple as that he'd probably sat yeah. down with him a couple of hours had a couple of coffees uh, whatever and said what do you want i want this do you care we're playing champions league no, I want to play for Spurs. You sure? Yeah. Right, there you go. I don't know. Something like that. I mean, something I as simple it. as... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's something as simple as... And so, you know, how much do you want? How much are you earning? Let me see your contract. You know, agents, blah, 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 blah. Such a yeah. simple thing. Boom. I'm convinced. I want to sign you. Do you want to play for me? Yes, boss. You know, and, and he probably called yeah. him boss even before... The, it's something so absurd and, and simple as that. Well, someone with ego would say, I don't want to play, you know, nothing football. I want to go to Real Madrid, you know? Yeah. yeah. Not, or, not uh, your goddamn club that means nothing. I don't want you, mate. Exactly. Even yeah. if you're free, I don't want you. You know? Yeah. No way. And uh, Jose, has, Jose has said that a lot, too. If a player wants to play here, he wants them. You know, when we were worried yeah. about whether or not Dragishin was going to go to Bayern... Uh, and there was that huge like ordeal. Jose said, I'm not fussed. If he goes to Bayern, he didn't want to be here. If he comes here, he wanted to be here, and I'm happy. And uh, I think that's kind of what you're saying as well. Um, right? I'm not taking – I don't want to take anything wrong out of context. But that's what you're saying too, right? Like, you know, as long as the player wants to come. Yeah. Um, real quick, guys. Edward is in the house. Edward Y of Oz. What is up, my man? He says, if Tony does some charity work, I'll overlook his past. Um Honestly, I probably would too. Like I said, fickle as fuck I am, and uh, that's okay. Audio artisan said, uh, "Audio artisan said, didn't Andy say something about not wanting bad eggs?" Yeah, he he did. He absolutely has said that in the past. There you go. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Look who we've got, guys. Talking beer in the house. Uh, I've missed you, man. Not seen you a lot lately. Um, I hope that you're doing well. Keep Might keeping up. Keeping your head up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You need to come come on and tell us how to make uh, some some delicious beer. Yeah. Uh, but but he says, guys, despite their best efforts, the like buttons won't smash themselves. Uh, you'll yeah. have to smash it yourself. Come so on. everybody, Actually. please make sure if you haven't hit the like um, to go ahead and do that. And by the way, this is a dual stream. This is on El Tel Cockerel, and it's also on Talking Ball. So whichever one you're on, make sure you're liking it on the other. Um, and I'm going to put some links in. First of all, El Tal Cockerel link is going in the chat. Then we got Meta Football TV link is going in the chat. And Thank guys, you very much. Oh, my God, of course. And, guys, that's where you can find Chris. Whenever Chris isn't here helping me out last minute, when I don't plan things well enough, um, Chris shows up here to save the day. Um, first, here's Jose. This is this is Jose's channel, El Tal Cockerel. Make sure that you've liked the videos. You've subscribed over there. You've hit the bell. Then – we get to Meta Football TV. That's where Chris belongs. That's his home. That's where mm -hmm. he lives. That's that's his place. So make sure you go to Chris's place, and uh, yeah, you, you subscribe, you like the videos, you smash the bell. You know, you you, you see more beautiful, beautiful face. Um, and then Ellie, <laughs> I do it for that. <laughs> uh, it's a very beautiful face. And then and then Ellie. Oh, Ellie can be found here a lot of the time. Ellie's Ellie's part of the gang, but she's also part of she's yeah. also part of the gang over with Kate called Just a 
love Spurs. Yeah, there you go. go. Love the Spurs. Come and on. Just very <laughs> love Spurs. So go on over there and hang out with them. Um, you know, subscribe to their channel. Hit, hit the like on some videos, help that algorithm out, but hit the bell so that you know when they go live next and when you can see her next. And Chris, I had no idea you were only 11 subs away from 150. Guys. That's wrong. That's wrong. I'm 10 away now. Holy Come shit. On. Everybody, get <laughs> over get over there and subscribe to Chris's channel. Please, guys. Come on. Look at this. Yeah, at this. Because, because, because this man here, yeah. <laughs> subscribe to me. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. Yes, that's Nick talking beer. He's the best. Uh, he says, how's Colin got more subs? But Jose has more likes, LOL. Uh, I think it tells you who's the more likable person. It might, it might tell you just a bit there. Um, <laughs> but everyone's bigging up everybody. They're saying we all love Ellie. Yes, hell yeah, we do. Hell yeah, we do, Rob. Yeah. We appreciate you so much, Rob. Thank you. I, uh, Thank you. I, I said to Kate today, you're just a girl who uh, loves Spurs. But we're also just two girls who live for Spurs. Because we, we, we live and breathe Spurs. We Absolutely. Love it. We do. love our club like everybody else does. You know? There you go. That's yeah. It. Yeah. I keep saying, you guys, and yeah, I'll, I'll put you in contact, but you guys need to get with my mom and do a show. That'd be really fun. Get another get another lady on there. Yeah. Come um, on, Spurs. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we got Jishnu in the house, everybody. He's saying big up to everyone. Jishnu, thanks for tuning in, brother. Always good to have you here, my man. Um, guys, so we've talked a little bit about players that I, I know nothing about, uh, but it's cool stuff. Uh, you know, we're probably getting the striker this summer. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, we do have a match coming up. Newcastle at the weekend. Um, I've asked you this before. I'll ask you again. Are you excited? Uh, yes. You guys, everybody, everybody in the chat, everybody in the chat, how are you feeling? Are you feeling conf Are we feeling confident? Feeling confident against Newcastle? Or do we think they're going to be a tough, tough nut to crack? Uh, what is everybody thinking about Newcastle? I will put this up. I thought this was interesting. Oh, let me get the banner out of the way. That's yeah. right in the way. But um, this is the last 52 times that they've played each other. Premier League record, 52 games. I guess that's just since the Premier League was the Premier League. Um, but look at this, 22 wins apiece, 78 goals apiece. Um, Spurs have nine more clean sheets, but look at that. Look at those numbers. It just kind of blew my mind that everything was so even Stevens right. there. So, um, yeah. Um, well, you know what? That's even Stevens, but we've been streets ahead of Newcastle apart from last year in uh, the Premiership in terms of what we've done and what they've done. Yeah. So, yeah, but it's a close call, isn't it? Look at that. It really is. It's it's, it's a weird one. Do you guys remember, oh, my God, that horrible match? How many years ago was it? Five, maybe? It was the last day of the season. Newcastle yeah. were already relegated. They lost won the league. Yeah. And they absolutely trounced us, man. They, they Yeah. Uh, that was yeah, bad. You, was. Remember, you remember that? You remember that? Yeah, I remember it very vividly. BRB. 5-1. I couldn't believe yeah. Yeah, and you know, and you know what we did after that match? We went and spent thirty million on Musa Sissoko. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it was like oh, punishment. It was. It was like, oh, we got beat by you guys. Now we'll buy your worst player and we'll keep him for years. Um, spend you know way what? too much money on him. My brother uh, said he's an athlete. He's not a footballer. He's, he's right. Your brother's not. Your brother's yeah. a smart man. Yeah. Um, real quick, too, guys. Uh, I wanted to put something else in here. Uh, I keep saying there's going to be new products, and there haven't been for a long time. But um, we do have uh, a talking ball shop uh, where you can buy like shirts and goofy shit like that. Um, there is the link, and I was even gonna share and just show, you know, the screen what it looks like. A couple of the couple of the things we've got here um my favorite one of course is is going to be this one i think come the end of the season um we're going to we're going to see a lot of this i think everyone's going to need one of these shirts come the end of the season so bookmark that guys the link is there um uh, make sure that you are ready to snatch one of those up and we can all wear it at the end of the season after arsenal fumble everything um yeah you're Daniel saying, the peak, aren't they? <laughs> "Yes, exactly, exactly. Um, they're all going to look like that. That face is going to be half half the people in North London are going to have that face, Ellie." Um, 
the Daniel saying that game against Newcastle still haunts him. And and Daniel, I'm I'm of the same exact feeling, man. It was it was a bad one, a terrible one. It was just so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing. Um, Chris, you watched it. You saw that match where Newcastle beat us five one, and then we we celebrated by buying Musa Sissoko. You don't remember? You blocked it from your memory. Um, electric, electric shock therapy. Or something. It didn't happen. Yeah. What game? What what game? Musa Sissoko? Huh? What are you talking and, about Willis? And then I talk shit about Musa Sissoko, but then you remember he was actually important in us scoring that final goal um, in the Champions League semifinal. You know, he, he booted the ball, and I was like, "What are you doing?" And it went way too high, and. Uh, but it worked out, and so I can't say mad. I think he, I think he scored two goals for the club, so we got those. Um, he scored yeah. one in the Europa League. I remember that one. <laughs> I Good think it was old... like Lask or something like that. Every time he scored, everybody went absolutely crazy. Absolutely I know. crazy. Oh, it was six one. It was six one. Daniel said, "I thought it was only five one." No, uh, Daniel's no, talking about five one. No, he's talking about the six one. He, he's oh. talking about the six one when we lost just recently. Last fair, season. Fair enough. Yeah. Sorry, we're talking about the old one, but that one was even yeah, worse, Daniel. The one when we finished third in the two horse race. Mm -hmm. Shame. Just mm -hmm. news saying finally Tom entered the race for Hugo Larson. Great news. Larson and Bergvall as double pivot will be mouthwatering i didn't know that we were i didn't know that we oh yeah larson uh yeah yeah i actually didn't know we were in for that fella um i don't know i don't know anything about him uh we'll have another hugo hugo yes yeah. yeah i think wasn't it just you that asked me to do uh to do a, a scout report on on hugo larson he did he did don't forget yeah. don't forget you yes boss down? you'll be in at the end of the day boss don't worry boss i'll do it boss you're a good you're man. Table it's, first thing in the morning, boss. That's why. That's why you're my main man, Chris. You're going places around yes, here. Away, really boss. If you keep that, if you keep, if you keep that attitude up, you could go real far here, son. Um, yeah, real far out the window. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck him out. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Um, Ryan G says most of last season still haunts. Uh, to be honest, and. Uh, Daniel E says, Chris, you done your Hugo Larson scout report yet, mate? Um, I like I like to think it, that he uh, yeah it will uh, yeah it's on yeah uh, first thing in the morning, governor, and and it's done now. Uh, no, but guys, um, okay, well, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Some more housekeeping we got to do. Uh, again, I've been joined today for a kind of I don't want to say impromptu <laughs> show, but I took a nap right before, and anytime I take a nap, I'm like ruined for hours. So. Um, sorry about that. Uh, wasn't wasn't my best work today, but it was very nice seeing all of you lovely lot. Um, I just wanted to tell everyone, El Tell has a mop up show tonight. These famous mop up shows that El Tell does. Um, there he is, just looking ripped as hell. Um, oh, look at him. Look yeah, I know. I know. That's why we haven't seen he's, so much of him. He says he's at work. He's just in the weight room. He's been on work. pork pies, isn't he? He's not eating yeah. pork pies anymore. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. He's on a Mediterranean diet. He's yeah. he's lifting weights. Salad. He's in the weight room. <laughs> but everybody, please, please make sure that you turn up for his show tonight. Um, 10 p.m.? Let me check and make sure that that's right. Um, it absolutely is. So 10 p.m. tonight, uh, the mop-up show with Jose. Make sure you get there. I'll put the link in one more time, even though I'm sure everybody knows it. But still, um, just in case you need it for any reason, there is the link um, to El Tel Cockero. So please, please, please make sure you're there tonight, guys. And if you if you come, uh, please have a couple questions with you. It just makes everything flow uh, a lot better. And um, you know, gives gives Jose a chance to be the one answering the questions instead of the one asking the questions. And it does get it, it is more fun that way sometimes. So, um, yeah, come with some questions. You'll learn some stuff about him. He'll learn some stuff about you guys. It'll be a, it'll be a fun time. So, um, Chris, mm -hmm. Els, you guys going to be watching Jose's mop up show? I will be. Of I will be. I'll tune in. I'll be. Hell yeah. I'll be working. I'll have it on in the background. And whenever I'm between calls, I will absolutely listen. Um, but guys, I'm going to put your I'm going to put your links up uh, and I'll start with Christopher. Uh, and Chris, 
if you would like to go ahead and tell everybody kind of what's up, uh, talk about, you know, where they can find you next, um, that kind of thing, that would be lovely. I'm I'm ending the show very abruptly. I'm really sorry about that. I, That's I'm okay. Be, it's my secret. I'm okay, yeah. That. Meta Football TV, as always, I'll be out and about. Um, and there is an important... Uh, just to get the people engaged with me on X, um, there's an important... Uh, um, new bit of news that is going out in a few seconds so it will be a repost so news coming out get hell yeah it. hell yeah everybody get you know uh, on x are you still meta football tv on x is it the same chris chris meta f tv chris meta f tv chris but it's meta not going out yet it'll be it'll, i'm doing F-TV. it now tv oh that's okay i'm just putting morning in your boss. morning now boss I'm just putting in your tag in here for everybody to be able to find you on on X, uh, and then and then more than that, well yeah more or less more or less was that wrong Chris Meta oh, FT yeah but it's it, I think it's Chris hang on hang on boss yes sir, um, yes, sir. yes sir yes sir um it's Chris with a capital C okay it's Chris with a capital M and it's Chris with a capital FTV. Yeah. I think that's what it is. That's Andy's Road. <laughs> Boom, look at that. Oh, no, it's Chris Meta TV. That's Sorry, big. Chris Meta TV. Fuck. That's, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Chris. Hang on a minute. Because it's new, it's new, it's new. Meta TV. Boom, there we go. I got it. This is the one you want, everybody. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Every, everybody. No, we're great. Stop it. Everybody, get over to X and um follow make sure you're following chris uh i i'm gonna make sure i am uh, once the show is over so everybody make sure you're doing that um uh, and then that brings us to the beautiful miss l's um ellie i'm putting up your link just a girl who loves spurs um but yeah where, where can you be where can you be found next you, you can also find me on twitter at spurs are us at ellie hoybier and and also you can find me at I've got a ladies' site as well. Uh, Spurs what? ladies everywhere we go. Yeah, so that's yeah. a really good one, and that's building up quite a good following. Obviously, Hell my, yeah. good deal. The, men, the men's one I started earlier, and the women's one I just started quite recently, really, because uh, I thought we've got to give the women at my former team a, you know, a platform. They've got obviously they've got Tottenham Hotspur women on twitter as well so people can check them out and we're doing very well in the league we're six in the league at the moment um we're climbing the league steadily we're getting closer to the top three and we've also made the fa cup semi-final which is this sunday which i'll be at so pick up yeah. the and also I've got very, very exciting news um i wrote to spurs and a, a gentleman oh, called curtis nice who's their uh, commercial director, manager, um, he said that I, all I have to do is get, um, he wanted to know what platform I'm doing it on and the, how many followers they've got. So I'm sorting that out at the moment. Ben Coffin yeah. is helping me as well. So hopefully I'll get an interview with Robert Villaham and three of the Spurs ladies. That would be so cool. The, I'm going to put distribute it to all the channels fairly. You know, because I think just because one channel's bigger than the other, it doesn't make them better. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and Els, what is the what is the link for your for your ladies for it's the Spurs, Spurs ladies page? Uh, it's uh, Spurs ladies everywhere we go. And that's on Twitter. It's on Twitter. Yeah. I'm gonna find it here. Uh, Spurs ladies everywhere we go. I think that's in the Irish Hotspur a little bit. Spurs ladies. <laughs> that song, everywhere we go. Where yeah. Girls making all the noise. Yeah, but the, the, the match is sold out, by the way. 60,000 sellouts. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Ellie, I'm having trouble it's finding fantastic. your link on. I'm having, having trouble finding your link on Twitter. Money, money, money. <laughs> Absolutely, Ellie. Could you could you help me find that Twitter link so I can put it in the in the chat? Yeah, I'm having um, trouble finding on. it. Let me just Thanks. come out of here for a minute. Just wait one second. Yeah, all, right. all good. I we appreciate you, Els. 
Mr. Nile, uh, Nile Kane, the man, the man from Montrose, is, is asking, and we got to give give the people what they want. Um, and while you're looking for that, Jishnu's saying uh, he's seen Larson play for Frankfurt. Ah, uh, yeah, he's... I just recently changed it to Spurs Women. Aha. Aha. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, yeah, yeah it'll be a Twitter link, Nile. They're known as Spurs women, not Spurs ladies. Yeah, yeah. I've got, an, I've got, a, I've got, I've got a report just coming in. Oh, what do you got? I've what got a got? report just coming in. I found the link, Ellie. I got it. Yeah, you got it. Well done. Yeah. The, the, the men's one. The men's one. Hold on. Let me just go into it, and I'll give you the full name. Oh, no, I'm going into the women's. I want to go into the men's. There it is. So the men's one is Spurs are us all right. Because I put I, I put the all right on it because I thought it sounded good. <laughs> Spurs are us all right. I'm looking for that one. Spurs are us. Spurs are us all right. All one word. Oh, Spurs. R us all right. Like the... So A L R I G H T. I'm not finding it. Um, all right. Yeah. It is that at Queen okay. Edward 30. Because 30 is the Bentonville's number. Gotcha. Well, good. hold on. Real quick, you guys. Um, can you, Chris, can you help me find that link? Do you see it anywhere? Spurs are us. Okay. All right, A L R I G H T. Should find it, but I don't know why you're not finding it. Spurs are us all right. That is that is the link you need to go to. Um, I haven't found it yet, but Ellie is still looking for it. Ellie, let me know if you find it. I found it. Spurs you, are us all right. Put it in the chat if you don't mind. Um, I, I don't know how to do that on my phone. What's um, it? What is it called? <laughs> Oh, I'll just put it in the chat. Okay, I can do that. Just bear with me. What's it called, Ellie? Nod it if you want. Birds it's up to you. are us, and then all right, A L R I G H T with ex exclamation marks after it. Maybe that's why you're not finding it because I've put exclam exclamation marks. I should really take the exclamation marks off. Yeah, but it's but you have to go to the you have to go to your at the one that's got at Queen Ellie thirty yeah. on it. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah, because it's, it's at Queen Ellie thirty. Yeah, it's not it's not the name of it. It's the at. At Queen Ellie uh -huh. thirty. It's at the Queen one Ellie I put in 30. just now, Cole. Perfect. I'll yeah. get that. Have you right. found it at Queen Ellie thirty? Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Thank you, well Rob. Done. Yeah, Rob did it as well. Thank you. Rob, yeah. you're the man. <laughs> Rob, thank you. And everybody, um, thank you all for tuning in. Everybody's been awesome. The chat's been just flowing today. Um, oh, did I say I didn't say I didn't say hi to Jamie Wooten. I'm so sorry, Jamie. Jamie. Very Jamie, very nice to see you. That's I think that's the only person that I skipped in the chat. Yeah. That's the blade. Yeah, yeah. Uh thanks for Kyle Walker, by the way. Um Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah uh jamie very nice to see you sorry that i just saw this so late but honestly very very nice to see you um and guys please oh, please please pay sorry. queen ellie uh pay chris uh, a visit uh subscribe to both of their channels and please don't forget to check out l tells mop up show tonight 10 p.m bst um yeah, I guess. I think that's pretty much it. Let me throw uh, throw some links back up there. Thank Queen you. Queen Ellie 30. Time. Absolutely. Sorry, I had to I had to run to the bathroom again. Sorry about that. But but uh, Chris, save of the day. Um, yeah, guys. Um, any last words before we before we bid everybody adieu? Like I always um, say, hi, Pierre. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on, come on, Pierre. Uh, yeah. what, what about Thank you for having me on again. Always a pleasure. Yes, it's always Anytime. a pleasure. Anytime. Thank you very much, Colleen. Thank you, guys. Couldn't do it without you. You're waking up five o'clock on, on Wednesday, sorry. Yesterday. I got you back. No worries, no worries. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so I am going to play this out real quick. I want to throw up some biscuits and gravy. Mmm, biscuits and gravy, Absolutely. American American food. Um, wow. Chris, I, ma I mainly just do that because it grosses people out. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then we're going to end with everybody's favorite song. Hopefully it's stuck in your head for the rest of the day. It's James Madison time. All right. Woo! Bye, everyone. Everyone, make sure to subscribe to Queen Ellie, to Chris, to come back and to watch Jose's show, Elta Cockerel's Mop-Up Show tonight at 10. And we will see you tomorrow for predictions. Yes. Oh, shoot. Predictions tomorrow, too. So don't miss those, guys. Predictions tomorrow, 4 o'clock. All right. For real. Goodbye, everyone. Much love. Much love. My team has got James Madison. James Madison is what we need. Whoa, thank God we got James Madison. This kid plays ball like you would never believe. Whoa.